Hi, my name is Mark Metternick, and this is a short preview of my Photoshop video tutorial, Blending for Dynamic Range Made Easy, Blend If. In it, you'll learn how to take care of most of your blending issues easily using the layer style blending sliders. In fact, all of the images you see here on the slideshow on my website were processed using this very technique. If you go down to the gallery section where it says Photoshop video tutorials and you click into it, you will find many videos listed there, their descriptions, loads of testimonials, a list of new videos on the way, and also other video previews. So let's jump in and take a look. Your layer style blending options blend if sliders. Okay, so it's your layer style blend if sliders um, come up and here they are. Pretty unassuming, but they have absolutely revolutionized my workflow and my photography, period. At first I was like, well, what are these things? But now I understand and man, I've come up with so many uses, you'd be surprised. Okay, so what do we have? We have the top layer, the bright one, we have the darker. Just get this in your mind, the bottom layer is red, okay, it's solid red. And to see a visual, I'm gonna go ahead and move the top layer. So, oh, what's underneath it, it's red. Control Alt Z, go back one. Now, so we're on the top. I want you to see immediately, not subtly, but I want you to see immediately what the blend if sliders do. Let's just go ahead and grab the slider. Watch what happens. Oh, interesting. The image is turning red. Why? Well, it's not turning red. What's happening is you're eliminating 255, 254, 253, 252, all the way down to 220. You're eliminating all of those pixels from the top layer. Now, for some people, at this point, if they've never learned this before, they're already like, whoa, right on. And they're starting to understand, oh, wow, this is a way that I can eliminate those tones from an image immediately on the fly in real time. And I can see what's going on in real time. You're now going to be able to eliminate the tones you don't want. And if you have the correct tones underneath, there you go. Red is transparent. They're gone. I mean, you cannot see them. They're 100% deleted. And the other ones are 100% there. They're opaque completely. So there's no transition between the two. So you're just going to get a rough edge cutout. And that will not look good. What we want is we want there to be some kind of a smoothing or feathering or blurring between what is 100% opaque and eventually what is 100% transparent. So I'll show you how to do that as well in a moment. So now, just erase. Powerful. This is actually shocks some of my students. It's like, well, why isn't it affecting all the other tones around it? because we used the blend if and we just allowed those highlights to get healed. No middle tones and no shadows will be affected at all. So instantly in my mind, I'm thinking, hmm, I bet blend if would work well here to start splitting out the dark tones from this dark image. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna turn back on the lower image and I'm gonna click on the dark image and then I'm gonna double click for blend if. And remember, we're working on the dark one on top. I'm going to take the right side of the blend if slider, the black, and I'm going to hold alt down and I'm going to split it and just watch this. See how it's just affecting the land there? Subtly, you're getting all of those dark tones out of that dark layer and only below the horizon. Very powerful. So that's the end of my short preview. If you want any more information, just go to my website, wildforlight.com, and I'll see you later.